going to be while I'm answering the questions in the background I'm going to be showing some features and uh, playing around with the screen and using touch screen and all that stuff so you guys get to grasp it while uh, listening to my answers to all your questions on YouTube uh, first I'm going to uh, time how long it takes to get up to uh, HP quick uh, launch and um, it's quick uh, software that you can get onto the web right away and then after that I'm going to show you guys how I use the fingerprint reader and then probably some touch uh, software and things like that while in the background answering all your YouTube questions so uh, let's begin enjoy So it takes 10 seconds. Hey guys, uh, in this portion of the uh, video, I'm going to show you. I'm going to answer some questions from YouTube. Okay, so it says, uh, "Can you say the viewers the specs of this laptop?" Okay, so the specifications of this laptop are uh, Windows 7 Professional 64-bit um, i5 450M. Uh, by the way, if you're looking into, if you're confused over 520, 540M, or 450. Unless you're doing heavy CAD software application and um, excessive uh, abnormal uh, things, um, not abnormal, but unusual things, then um, go for a higher clock speed. But 450M with Turbo Boost is more than enough for almost every application from HD video editing, uh, like this HD video right here that I'm editing with this 450M, and um, to, uh, to, to programming, all that things. 450M is uh, great for battery life because of the low speed and um, its ability to turbo boost into high speeds. And I have 8GB uh, DDR3 memory. However, um, go for whatever suits your bill. Um, I haven't even used 8GB yet. And um, it was a summer deal going on uh, and uh, it was one of the uh, one of the upgrades or something like that. So I got that. And I have a 500GB uh, normal uh, SATA hard drive. If you get an SSD, you have um, you'll have less uh, problems and issues with probably heat and better uh, response uh, and things like that. But the only problem is, you know, SSDs a lot of nobody. Uh, it's it's really hard to afford it because it's really expensive. I have the one gigabyte ATI mob Mobility Radeon HD 5650, a switchable graphics, so it switches with uh, Intel's uh, graphics. Uh, the fi uh, 15.6 inches diagonal um, HP. Um, uh, screen though it doesn't say edge to edge if you get the touch um, if you touch screen you get edge to edge um, I have the touch screen software and I have the regular DVD drive um, and I have the Intel wireless N card if you get the uh, if you get the, uh, the 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 if you get the the wireless N with the um, Bluetooth Bluetooth with I and will actually uh, use a lot of resources and will waste a lot of your battery because it also uses Wi-Fi and uh, as uh, many of you know Wi-Fi will drain a lot of your battery um, it, I have also the black uh, backlit keyboard with fingerprint reader and the 9 cell uh, lithium-ion battery so those are my specifications let's uh, look at the other questions is this white color no this is silver color um, there's no hint of tint uh, hint of pink or anything like that it's all um, silver silver uh, okay it says how about battery uh, so you got the nine cell yes um, the battery will last I have lasted well more than six hours uh, into uh, eight hours um, that's using granola how about temperature um, I have to say after using a couple of hours if there's no AC or air conditioner or any kind of cooling in your room or wherever you are um, laptop will get hot and I guess that goes goes for any laptop but this laptop will get hot uh, especially on the left side but, um, no, it's nothing to worry about I mean if you move your laptop around go to a more air flowing room or have an AC on it Im immediately cools down and uh, so that's about it there's no heat major problems maybe if you're gaming you might see some heat problems but other than that there's no uh, heat problems or anything like that if you get an SSD, you know, forget about heat, I guess, because uh, it'll help reduce all that problems. And um, is fan making a lot of noise? <laughs> I've been running this lap, uh, laptop for a couple of hours now. No fan noise. I even I can't hear any fan problems. Um, none of that. No CPU whining or anything like that. Uh, because I've heard, you know, people had uh, CPU uh, whining in other models of the laptop, but no, this uh, model, the DV6 TSC, has no no problems like that. 
um, would it be suitable for editing HD videos? Actually, this video is in HD, so um, actually, yes, I've, this is suitable, more than suitable. Um, the uh, bright screen and uh, bright specifications are really good for editing HD videos. Playback is awesome, crisp, uh, no stutter, and um, it's really good. It's just, uh, next question, can anybody confirm that all uh, screens are edge to edge? Actually, there's an uh, unboxing video on YouTube of the DV6 TSE and the uh, user uh, didn't have touch screen and uh, users asked him if he has t uh, edge to edge and he said no. So I guess that answers your question, but uh, maybe it's different for this uh, month and um, ask around and maybe someone else can help you out. Okay, next question says, when your hands are resting on the keyboard, does the trackpad get in the way? Um, okay, so I'll show you guys. Uh, maybe you guys can see for yourselves. Okay, so uh, here's my fingers right here. Um, I'm typing, uh, let's say, uh, testing the uh, space, space, space bar. Testing space bar, I am currently typing. Okay, blah 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 blah. As you can see, uh, most of the the main uh, keys are in the center. Your only your thumb might hit it. Um, you can turn it off. See that light turned on, and that sound uh, indicating that the touchpad is disabled. Now you can type and not worry about it. And quickly disarm it. Now it's back on. Um, if it's still a nuisance, there's a software that disables your touchpad while you're typing. So uh, there's many ways to get around that. That shouldn't be a problem. Um, since the uh, next question says, since the power cable goes in the right side of the laptop, does it get in the way if you use a mouse on the right side? Okay, so let me show you guys. So there's my uh, power cable right here, this power cable, and uh, this is a USB. So that's the right, uh, closest port right there. There's no problems. So this is sturdy. USB is still sturdy, so no problems. Uh, hey guys, so this is the touch screen portion of the uh, review of the DV6 TSE. Um, currently, the screen is on the lowest brightness possible, and uh, just to show you um, the surrounding, you know, it's pretty much light there, um, and it's very, it's very uh, bright still. I'll just turn on the backlit keyboard so you guys can see it uh, throughout the video. So this is the backlit. At night, it's very nice. Um, it just lights up. So this is on lowest. Let me show you the highest brightness. So that's the highest brightness. I rarely use it. Most uh, like a holding out or double click or starting a program, just uh, double tap on the screen. Or in this case, uh, for the desktop, I could configure properties of switchable graphics, graphic properties, gadgets, personalized screen resolution, all that stuff right there. See here. See, I'm launching stuff right here. Let's go to my computer. Shows my computer recovery, all that stuff. Um, Chrome. All right, now let's launch. Windows, so this is a 64-bit Windows Explorer, and you can use the touchscreen uh, keyboard. If not, you can just use the keyboard right here. Type whatever, and um, you know it still works. And see, it it's very quick. Um, you can uh, calibrate it according to your finger size, I believe. And there's all sorts of other stuff. Uh, one of the favorite parts is touch screen uh, this is HP software called touch smart and it's very very nice uh, so let me show you there's a lot to go if I start to review this it's gonna take another 10 minutes so I'm gonna do this real fast so one of the uh, most used things programs in touch screen is music and for a very simple reason as shown in the other video so yeah there's not much moistness in my finger it's not it works don't worry about it, it works perfectly I've been doing it for tons of time um, so one of the most used features on this uh, touch uh, screen program that I use a lot is Pandora. Um, I play this while I'm, um, you know, browsing the web or doing any kind of editing, because it does it's non intrusive and it plays in the background and the sound is really crisp. Um, I've used uh, JBB's. Um, this this is a user on Notebook Review forums. His modifications for sound, and the sound is crisp, clear, better than Envy, better than MacBook Pro that I know a friend has. Uh, he has a 15-inch uh, uh, i5 or I, actually i7 processor, and it's the sound is better than that. So I'm going to show you guys the sound on this. Uh, just for information, um, the modification I used uh, made the system volumes very loud. It's um, 
you know, messing around with the beast, uh, treble and all the levels. Um, he's customizing that. And on my lowest here, on my lowest volume in the touch screen, I guess this is a different volume program. On the lowest on this, and the highest um, max volume on here, so you see it as a Mac. This is another customization that you can find on Notebook Review. Mac-like uh, volume changer. So that's on my Max, and I'm going to play a Coldplay um, song for, uh, through Pandora. Now let's put this up. Now let's try a, a really uh, loud radio. A different song that's a very uh, low sounding music. So let's try very loud music like uh, Lady Gaga. The poker Face, uh, that's the song playing in the background. And it's on. It's on max volume right now. Uh, this is on a HP DB6 TSE. See, that's the sound. And uh, let me put this volume down. I would suggest, strongly suggest, unless you're an advanced, advanced computer no uh, notebook user. Do not uninstall all of the HP bloatware. HP Touch Smart is actually a really good uh, bloatware, I guess, in this case, if you have a touch screen. It only comes if you have a touch screen. I looked all over HP's website and um, threads people make just for specific HP products. None of them have the Touch Smart program. So um, it's very important that, um, you know, don't do a clean install if you really want that program because you can't get it back if you do a clean install. and. Uh, Unless you make a recovery, the point made, don't uninstall if you want that program. That's been one program I've been using a lot lately. How are you guys? So it's uh, night time and uh, I thought this would be a good time to show the uh, the backlit keyboards. So this is how they look at, uh, at night. And uh, I'm going to be also uh, reviewing, uh, um, uh, I guess, uh, also another program in the HP Touch Smart program. Yeah, it's called the uh, Hulu Desktop, and it's uh, Hulu's uh, service that they partnered with HP, and it might be available as a separate program, but it's customized on this uh, laptop for uh, Touch Smart. So it's in the HP Touch Smart program. It's built in. It's called Hulu Desktop, and it's uh, customized, and you can probably download it separately. But this is a little different. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to browse through Hulu Desktop with the touch screen and also using uh, up and down hotkeys. So uh, first and foremost, um, I'm gonna probably put the volume up and show you um, some menus and things like that, and how I'm gonna use my hand to go along and browse. Okay, so uh, let's go. And I can use my uh, up and down George keys to go to the little icons. Alright guys, next I'm going to really show you guys real quick um, how loud this thing can uh, get. And uh, everything is on max and I'm going to play some sample music that comes with uh, Windows 7. So if you heard it from a back, little bit 
back part then it's probably hearable in a large room like mine so that's about it